Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Uh, looks like we're playing top lane this game, and I'm playing Riven. Um, let me just buy my items real quick, and then we'll go over what I maybe will be going against. I'm not going to level any spells yet, because there's two champions that I might be against. I'm either going to be against Yasuo or Victor. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Victor. And if it is Victor, I'm probably going to get my shield first. A lot of Ravens normally get their Q because it helps like harassing, but against Victor, he's going to Q, get a shield, and then just auto attack me and do a little bit of damage. So using this, maybe I can uh, negate the damage from that and just be able to see us safer early rather than going for some damage on a ranged champion that I'm probably not going to be able to damage in the first place because he could just run away from me. So the shield is just going to help out. I'm not going to level it though, I'm going to make sure that he actually is uh, the top lane, I'm not sure if he will be, just going to ward real quick for Fizz, make sure that no one comes in through here. <clears throat> I'm going to run around because I'm scared of that, the bush right there, I don't want to get like 5 man killed. I'm going to walk all the way around, and I'm safe over here. So, this game, they have a interesting team comp. Uh, it actually, I feel like it lacks damage. They have a lot of damage dealers, of course, yes, but I feel like we have the better team comp just seeing how like Yasuo versus a Riven, firstly, should lose. Riven should beat him. And Fizz, who can probably outplay him pretty easily. Um, the Victor, not really that scared of. The Vayne, I mean, Vayne is scary, but against our team comp, I just feel as though it just looks a little bit better. I, it's kind of hard to explain why I think that. But as you can see, Yasuo is mid. I'm going to level up my E first, because he's probably going to Q me. I'm going to try to get level 2 before him, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to shove the wave, even though it's going to be a little bit difficult to. Especially against him, because he can just easily probably just push back with any spell, really. <clears throat> gonna walk into the bush where he can't hit me, and then I could at least get CS out of the bush. I could just walk outside of the bush and get the CS and then walk back in, and I feel pretty safe in here. It's not like he can do anything against me. I only need one more minion to get level 2, so that's what I'm gonna be going for. But he got level 2 also. <clears throat> So I did okay damage, he did okay damage, he has a Doran, so I have one more health potion than him, which is completely fine. Uh, I'm gonna just have to pop it earlier, of course. He used his thing. Unfortunately the auto attack went through. The Q doesn't deal much damage. Victor's Q deals like 30 damage, his auto attack deals like 80. So that's actually the biggest thing, his auto attack. So what you should do is not get auto attacked by him. As you can see, he's walking towards me, so I'm just going to run away from that auto attack. I don't want to get hit by it. I'm going to wait for level 3 before even trying to make a play or anything. So I'm just going to stay within range of the experience. Not really going to go for any CS because it's too risky. But as long as I get the experience, I will be fine inside this lane. Levels do matter. CS in the early game, it matters a little tiny bit, but not that big. Uh, as you can see, Noon is coming in for a gank. This one minion is going to level me up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk towards him and stun him. And he ghosted and flashed, so now he has neither of his summoners up. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is he's probably going to want to back. I'm going to try to freeze here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's somewhat frozen. Like, these minions back here, I think, won't be hit. Yeah, okay, cool. So now that they're, it's frozen here, I'm just going to see us freely for a little tiny bit. I, Considering how low I am, I probably should back, so... I was seeing if I could make him stay in lane, but obviously he's not. Okay, so I've got all the CS. I'm going to back him by Dorans, because if you have a really tough lane, Dorans normally help out a lot. I don't want to just build Dorans, because I eventually actually need to build some items that will actually build into something that's going to help me on. But Dorans just will help out my lane a lot. I'm actually going to buy a ton of health potions, which is going to give me a big advantage over however many health potions he has. If I just keep on harassing this guy and taking trades and going about even, I have double the health potions, which will help out me getting him super low, especially because he has no summoners, and hopefully being able to all in at level 6. So that's what I'm going to try to do, just be able to harass him down, even though he's going to be able to, of course, harass me back. But I have more health potions, so in the end, I think I should win all the trades. I have to be careful for Jarvan, so I have a ward that I'm going to place down right now. And... 
the lane is pushing towards him, so I'm actually going to need to shove this out because right now it's not really going to do much in my favor. Okay, so he just used his Q, so I'm pretty safe doing this. <clears throat> Make sure that he doesn't freeze or anything, so now he has to last it under tower. I'll just wait for the minion wave to come back, of course. So the CS, he's winning by four. I actually could be ahead in CS right now. I actually, I've been CSing pretty bad. Jarvan's mid. I'm looking mid on my mini map, and I see that he's mid. So seeing that he's mid, I'm pretty safe top. I have no idea where Jarvan went now, unfortunately. Okay, he's still mid. Cool. So I like to see where the jungler walks next. If he walked bot side, I would know that I'm still pretty safe top. <clears throat> so it looks like he's maxing his laser first, which is fine for me. <clears throat> As you can see, like, I did a decent amount of damage, he did a decent amount of damage, but in the end, I won the trade because I'm gonna have more health potions, so I'm gonna be able to heal that back up way faster than he does. I have no idea where Jarvan went, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful. I'm actually going to ward as soon as I can maybe, like, push this wave. Let's see. Jarvan isn't level 6 yet. Okay, I'm just gonna stay. I'm not gonna ward. Okay, there he is. So I'm just gonna back off as soon as he comes in. If I was level 6, I'm pretty sure I could have outplayed him, like, and actually maybe killed both of them, especially because Victor has no summoners, no like, any offensive summoners. All he has is uh, movement summoners. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna try to get to level 6, and I'm probably all in this Victor with Ignite. I should be able to kill him just dodging his, his W, which is his stun. And if I dodge that, I'm pretty sure I should win. My spirit is not lost. I was gonna Q that, walk away from his auto attack. So now I'm just gonna wait for my spells to come back up. I might just like ulti and all in. I'm not sure if I will be able to actually kill him. Uh, we'll see. No. Okay, I used his stun, so that's fine. I could have ultied and probably stunned him right there, but in the end, at least I got out his gravity shield, which actually has a relatively long cooldown on it. <sighs> Getting hit by lasers, though. So, as you can see, he didn't have his stun up, so I just decided to ult in him as soon as I got the stun down, ultied, was able to Q him. It's not like he can run away from me or anything like that, so relatively easy kill. Hopefully I can snowball off of that because I'm going to buy a Brutalizer next, which is going to give me a humongous early game power spike, which is giving me armor pen and cooldown reduction and a little bit of attack damage, so that really helps out. Uh, new news, soloing the dragon, so hopefully we can get that too. I'm gonna buy more health potions because even though I have really high damage, my defense is not so high, so having this uh, defense is... Er, all these health potions are gonna make up for all that defense that I don't have to be able to just keep on healing. If I do get kinked by Jarvan, I do have flash still up, so that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna scroll up. Oh dang, I can't see when his flash was because I didn't even say Victor Flash. That sucks. That's a little bit unfortunate. I'm gonna pink this to make sure that no one comes in here, and then I'm gonna ward down here, like eh, there. Okay. Jarvan's bot. I'm perfectly fine top. All he bought was a cloth armor. He has only two health potions still, so I should be okay even if I harass him. I eat away from the minion. I didn't want to get hit by his Q. Unfortunately, I still took the the laser damage. The laser is a lot thicker than I actually thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm going to let the lane push in towards me, just to make sure that maybe I can... Oh, gosh. Fizz is coming in from the back. I don't know why. I... I'm just going to freeze over here to see if I can maybe do anything. Because he has to be forced to come up on me to get the CS. Otherwise, he's going to stay super far away. Okay, so he used his flash and ghost once again. So, Flash is around 5 minutes, everybody should know that, 5 minutes, so that's going to be around 1425. So 1425 is around Victor Flash, the Ghost I think is 4 minutes, but I don't really care about the Ghost cooldown, it's not really going to help him that much. I don't really care about taking damage right now, I'm just going to push this out. And back. And buy boots, or... Hmm. I'm thinking about what I should buy. I think I'm actually going to get... Yeah, I'm gonna buy boots. I was thinking about getting uh, the some magic resist, but actually the magic resist costs 500 now instead of 400, so it's actually not gonna help that much. I should be able to get back in time to the point where I'm not gonna really miss any CS. 
<clears throat> but I just did want to get something that will like help me catch this guy because it it is kind of hard to actually kill this guy. But I'm not gonna miss anything off of this. I just missed a chance to actually harass him. That's it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the victor backed. If he didn't, then I'm going to be looking to once again all in because I have flash and he doesn't, and I have my ulti back up. Uh, so, got to kill mid. That's really good. Victor is gone. I'm just going to triple Q to kill the back line. Unfortunately, I canceled my auto attack there and didn't get it. So, I see that the Jarvan's really low, so he might do his jungle. I'm actually gonna see if like... Oh no, never mind. There's nowhere that I can go. I know that the Jarvan's really low, so he's not gonna gank top because he would just die off of it. Uh, the Victor has a cloth, or I mean a Seeker's Arm Guard now. Like, he has a little bit of armor, but still nothing that he can really do against me, I feel. That would really... Like, I won that trade super hard. I also have health potions still course so I have more health potions than him still also <clears throat> unfortunately the laser hurts rather than the Q so I'm just gonna back up a little tiny bit until I get some health back before actually trying to kill him <clears throat> I keep on walking to the laser unfortunately which really sucks I might try to just all in because I feel as though I can still kill him even though he has his ulti I'm thinking that the biggest thing right now is him not having ignite. Since he has no ignite, I feel as though I might be able to kill him with like a few hundred HP left. That's the biggest thing. I'm scared of the minions though. If I do go in on him, I'm gonna have all these minions on me, so I have to take that in account, of course. So <clears throat> maybe if I can kill some of these minions and get them low, then maybe I can kill him then. The Fizz keeps on killing mid, so this is really good. It looks like someone's coming mid, like Jarvan or something. No, it's Blitzcrank. Okay. Okay, so J4 is top. Good thing I didn't go one on him this entire time, because I would have definitely probably died. Nice. I didn't get damage from the uh, laser because I shielded to get that CS. I really wanted the cannon because it gives a lot of experience, but gold it gives like double. Can't really go one on him because the Jarvan I feel is probably in our jungle taking something like golems. So I'm just going to CS. Okay, I got most of the CS. I'm at 91, he's at 72, so I do have better CS than him. I'm still scared of the Jarvan possibly ganking me, so I'm actually going to walk over here, save my Q just in case I get ganked on. Okay, cool. So he's not there, at least. He still might be in this bush down here, so it's a little bit scary. But I might just go in to try to kill the victor, even though he might be here. No, he's too, he's too far away, so I can't do anything. I made him use his gravity field, so he's not going to have that for a little bit. His flash isn't going to be up for about one more minute. So maybe I can just flash on top of him and try to kill him here. Wow. He Okay, so his gravity field is on a much shorter cooldown than I thought. I thought it was going to be on like a 20-25 20, 20, second cooldown, and I think I waited for about 10-15 to 15 seconds. So, obviously, it doesn't work. The Fizz is coming up, so just in case this Victor comes all the way back around to get the CS, then we can probably kill him. Oh my god, tower, please. So I'm just going to start killing this tower, getting some damage on it. The Fizz sees the Victor, so he's dead, because he has no flash, of course, for another, like, 15 seconds. If he had 15 more seconds, he probably would have been able to flash over that wall, but... Good thing that we got his flash earlier. He didn't have ghost either because I just burned it, so even though I didn't get the kill myself, at least my teammate got it because he didn't have any summoners. So seeing that Victor is dead now and the team, our team just got dragon, I'm not really scared of bot lane. If bot lane comes up here then it's my fault, but I feel as though I can just push out this wave because the Victor was dead, so it's, who can really kill me right now? I see where everybody is besides the bot lane, which is the scariest part. I have no idea where bot lane is right now. So I'm just gonna back off now. Back. Oh. Yeah. So what I'm gonna try to do 
is flash over this wall. And I'm gonna have to wait for my Q to come back up. So this is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I couldn't get over. So that is really unfortunate. I could have used maybe my Q this way, but then the Yasuo would have been there. And he had up his ulti, or not his ulti, he had up uh, his tornado plus his ulti probably. So he could have just E'd and then tornadoed and I would probably would have died. <coughs> So, I'm going to get for boots. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get boots yet. I'm thinking about what I should get. I'm going to actually get a little bit of magic resist. That will help out against uh, the poke that he does. I got my Yomus, of course. So the Yomus is going to help out catching this guy because he doesn't have boots and I have level 1 boots. Plus this Yomus is going to give me movement speed and he doesn't have any flash. So I think I'll be able to catch him just in case I want to fight this guy in the top lane, especially because he has no tower, so I might just like try to freeze it here and then he's going to be forced to uh, come towards me to get the CS. So right now I don't want to just like push under the tower over and over again, I just want to try to kill this guy right now. Especially because my lanes are doing so good and I, I definitely can kill this guy pretty easily. The chances of him killing me are just a mistake by me. So I'm going to try to last at these at really low HPs because the lower the HP the less of the push it's gonna actually push towards them. Choose your own path. <clears throat> the victor went bot, so I'm actually gonna push this now. Seeing that he went bot. And he's staying bot too. There's no point in freezing the lane if he's bot because, I mean, I want to create pressure at least. So I see that they're fighting mid, so I'm actually going to roam mid right now. Maybe I can make something happen. Maybe I can help. We'll see. No, he's dead. I'm going to take Jarvan's Wolves. Got Jarvan's Wolves. And I'm going to ward right here to make sure that I don't get ganked by anybody. The Victor probably backed, so that's completely fine. And I'm going to back too. As soon as I go over this wall and take this, maybe. No. I'm a bit scared of being killed. I'm actually going to just sit inside this bush. <clears throat> if the victor comes up, then I'm going to try to all in him. He should have flash back up, unless he used it to kill the fizz. So he should have flash. So I have to remember that when I fight him. Uh, he doesn't have boots or anything. I have Yomu, so I have to remember to pop it. I have up Ignite, so maybe I can ignite him and then ulti him for the kill. <sighs> and he's backing now. Uh, I'm not sure why. Okay. But I don't think he's going to get close enough. That might kill him with the Ignite. I'm not sure. Yep, cool. Okay, so the Ignite killed him. He actually missed right there. So I think I'm actually going to get away from this. He missed his Q. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. He missed his Q. He, sh he threw it the other way, so I just ran away. Uh, I could have killed Blitz, but he exhausted me. So I just decided that I can't fight Yasuo, of course. But <clears throat> So what I'm going to buy next is probably a Hex Drinker. I'm thinking about it thinking about if this victor is actually scary. I mean, right now, the scariest person is probably the Jarvan, and instead of buying that, I'm actually going to go for a Last Whisper, and I'm actually going to build Ninja Tabby to start defending against AD damage, because honestly, the victor doesn't deal that much to me. Even though he has a Needless too, I don't think he'll actually be able to kill me either. So I'm going to come over to maybe kill this guy. I think he might already be dead. Yeah, okay, so he's already dead. So seeing that my team isn't really good at sieging, I would rather split push. Of course, like, my team's so fed that we probably can siege relatively easily and get inside team fights. I'm actually going to run over, holy shit.
Uh, I'm just gonna kill this Blitzcrank. I know my purpose. So that was fine. Gonna go up to Riven, or not Riven, the freaking Vayne over here. Maybe I can get her. <sighs> Don't want to stand on that gravity field, it would have stunned me if I kept on walking forward, so I decided to walk backwards. We should be able to get this dragon really easily. The Fizz should be completely fine. I'm going to kill this pink right here, because to deny vision, the Fizz is going in, but he's not going to be able to get anything, of course. Fuck, uh, don't stun me. Okay, thank god. I was gonna dive him, but as soon as I saw Jarvan come up, I was like, yeah, let's not do that instead. <clears throat> so I'm gonna push out this wave top unless, like, someone comes to kill me. They might come to kill me. This sucks. Ah, I want all the CS. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna use absolutely everything just to get all of the CS here. Jarvan might come up and ult me, but I'm gone. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna back in this bush. I'm pretty safe. I got a whole bunch of CS. And... I'm gonna get my last whisper now, which is gonna give me a ton of armor penetration, which is like, okay, you don't need all AD on Riven. If you get a ton of armor pen, it's actually gonna counter if anybody tries to build armor against you, but I think this game is pretty one in the first place. So, I'll just head back top and push that out, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to group, because it seems that my team is actually able to force fights quite often. If I wanted to group with them sieging, that would be kinda dumb, because of course the siege potential on us, all we have is Lucene to hit the tower unless we hard engage, but uh, if I split push, then obviously we'll force more than one person top, because I think that the victor isn't able to wave flare that effectively to the point where I can just not even hit the tower. I'm pretty sure I could hit the tower even if he is trying to wave flare. So just shoving out top, victor's mid, I see that they're all fighting. I'm gonna maybe roam over? No, it's not even worth roaming over, seeing that everybody's dying. So since everybody's dying, I'm just gonna keep on pushing top and uh, being able to at least push someone here and then maybe roam over afterwards. I know that Victor's heading over, so I'm actually just going to ward right here. So they're fighting. I'm going to try to get behind them. But I don't know if I can. Yeah. This, this freaking little thing right there is completely fucking me over when I'm trying to roam over. Nah, I'll just ignite you. you have slain <sighs> Should be able to get this right here. Uh, oh god, I'm scared though of being pulled. Should be okay if I roam over it. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm dead. God damn it, Ignite. He just did what I did to the freaking Jarvan. <clears throat> so as soon as I got pulled, I stunned everybody. But unfortunately, I knew that I couldn't fight because Victor had ulti, so I tried to get away. And then it didn't really work out. Now I'll be able to get away because I will have Hex Drinker, of course, but... <clears throat> We aren't exactly throwing because we're getting kills out of it still. Uh, the Fizz, that was an interesting ult, didn't really work out. We can easily kill this Yasuo right here. Uh, it's not that strong. All he has is a static shiv. I now have a Hex Drinker, which is really huge for me because that's gonna just help out versus the Victor, who's like the only AP damage, so Victor pretty much deals no damage, and I feel like I can outplay everybody else by killing them extremely quickly. You saw how much damage I could deal just with my W, so. I see that top's pushing. Gonna once again shove that out. I'm actually getting a decent CS lead. Yeah, I have 30 CS ahead, so that's kind of big. Okay, so since I see Fizz going top, I'm actually not gonna go top because, I mean, you don't need two people top. You wanna stick together as like four and one. Just gonna kill these real quick and then jump over this wall. No, nope. okay. I did not aim that correctly at all, so I knew I was gonna jump over. Ah, I see that my team's fighting, so I'm immediately gonna head over. Gonna kill two of them, and I'm dead. Nope. Okay, I live. Cool. 
So is it, I just went on the back line because the back line is the scariest part of them. Jarvan, I mean, sure, he's going to jump in and like try to kill a squishy, but if I could get on their back line, then I can do a lot more damage. If I didn't go my back on their back line, I probably would have not been able to do as much as I actually did right there. So I <clears throat> was able to pick up the Jarvan and the Vayne, so got the squishies down. The victor, of course, was out of the fight because he was following me, so three people were out of the fight. The Lucian died, unfortunately, but we were able to at least make get some pretty good kills out of that. I think it was about even, to be honest. Hopefully we can get lanes pushing to force them to stay in their base, and maybe they'll miss like a little bit of experience. We're not going to be able to get any towers, of course, because you can see that we're not grouped to take towers or anything like that. And it's just going to be super difficult to do things like that. I'm going to have up my... Oh, I already do have up my Yomus. So since I have up my Yomus, my ulti's going to be up soon. I'm going to be looking to maybe like kill this Vayne. I really want to kill her. Instead of uh, just holding this Lucian mid, I'm just going to take this. So that will help us get a little bit of vision even though I don't have any wards. The Yasuo is doing the little birds. Uh, the Fizz is coming up from the back, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to tr be trying to... Damn it. I thought... Oh my gosh, the silence completely ruined it. I wanted to kill the Vayne. I wanted to kill the Vayne there. And I missed my ult. I'm sad. Uh, should be able to take this tower with Vayne not being here. So I jumped out without using flash. The victor is completely screwing everybody. Are you kidding me? Wow. I'm really surprised that we lost that fight. Oh, it's because Fizz wasn't there. Okay, so that makes sense now. I, w I thought Fizz was there, but still, I mean, Vayne wasn't there, so that's one of the biggest things. I thought we can, like, definitely... Oh, she did? No, she isn't. Damn it. it. We're partially throwing a little tiny bit. I mean, the victor should have died. I don't know. A lot of people should have actually died there. I didn't have my ulti up, unfortunately. I couldn't just stay under the tower, especially because I think I was also tanking the tower at the same time. So that was kind of big for me. Nice. So I'm just going to shove out mid now instead of, like, doing anything else. Uh, seeing that the Yasuo is here, and he's not going to be able to do anything. Like, if he walks forward, I will just kill him straight up. The Jarvan's coming mid. I'm going to ask for a little bit of help. I'm not going to go for him because he's just going to poke me right here. Get that. Yeah, so it's still mid. Just going to take the CS. I have my ulti. I have level 3 ulti now, so that's a little bit of a spike. I want to be careful of Blitzcrank, so I, we have this good ward here, which will make sure that even if they come over, they won't be able to ulti me or anything like that. But they did kill it, so a little bit unfortunate. I have up my ulti still, so that's really good. I am partially scared because we don't have the fizz, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like sit in the back. We can team fight and probably win, but it's a, it's less risky, of course, if we have all five people here. So they're going in. Everyone's dying. The fizz is here now. So I'm just going to go for the victor. <clears throat> Decide to flash. I didn't want to risk dying or anything like that. I don't know where the Jarvan went. I probably could have played that team fight a little bit more. I tunneled on the Jarvan kind of hard. I know that the Jarvan is actually like running towards like our base. Yeah, okay. So he's dead. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> gonna roam bot with the Fizz. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get anything. We might be able to actually outplay this guy right here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk inside this bush, because the Yasuo is probably up. He might want to try to kill the Fizz, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk inside this bush and wait. He might actually come to try to do anything here. Also, he's not gonna push top, because that's already pushing. Okay, he went mid instead. Oh. Oh well. So... Get the little golem thing, steal a little bit of jungle, that's completely fine. Bot lane is not really shoving that hard. We won't lose our tower, so I'm actually not even going to do anything there. 
it will shove the opposite way soon. I don't want to also push there because that would give them the opportunity to like maybe rush to try to kill Baron and like my team has to be forced to fight, which means that it's a 4v5 and that's not good. I want to be in the team fight too because I, I trust myself. <clears throat> the team might face check. I I'm kind of scared, so I'm actually going to back up. As you can see, I'm super far away from my team. I'm like, kind of split off. Hopefully they can pick up kills and stuff like that. Oh my god, I just got condemned away. That's unfortunate. We're still going to be able to pick up all the kills. We had I had two people on me, which lets my team clean up the fight, which is completely fine. Just being a distraction to their team, to the enemy team, makes it so my team can pick up all the kills. So, gonna pick up a BF sword. I have a lot of damage now. Uh, if I had a pink ward, I probably could have like killed the vein, but because I stunned her, but I couldn't get off the third cube because, of course, I don't really know where she is. So I tried to run away. Uh -uh. We picked up Baron. Now we can really siege pretty easily because we don't need really range. We'll have these cannon minions, and you've seen cannon minions. They will attack from here to here, and you can just sit there and let the minions kill things extremely quickly. So, bot wave is huge, so that's where they're going. I'm actually going to buy my Bloodthirster now, so that's really good for me. And my team right now is trying to bait out something, or like, just make picks, I mean, because they just spawned, so they figured maybe they can make a pick and then just run away, and they did. So, really good on their end, what they just did. Just getting one kill, which will force them to not really, they can't push, which is good. Uh, it's not all about kills, I mean, sure, you're like, wow, one kill, like, is that really that good? Well, no, one kill isn't that big of a deal, but the deal is that without Blitzcrank, they're not able to counter us. Now we can get a ton of pressure all over the map, and what can they do? They can maybe, like, try to pick one of us off, but that's really it. And without Blitzcrank, the picking is obviously much harder. <sighs> so I have a huge, huge shield. I can't really split push that, well, I can split push pretty damn well. But I just don't like not having Baron. I wish I had Baron. All of my team has Baron. If I had Baron too, it would have been so amazing. The Fizz is fighting mid, so I'm actually going to try to roam mid. Um, he's going to get cut off by the Vayne? No, he's not. I tried to kill the Victor or something, but whatever. So going to go bot because there's a humongous wave. Jarvan's there alone. We saw that everybody's mid. Might be able to actually pick off this Jarvan. Yeah, we will definitely pick off this Jarvan. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. So now we can just take this tower for free. They can't really do anything against it. And now they don't have their initiator besides the Blitzcrank, of course, who can get pulls, but that's all he can do. And I mean, he just did a lot of damage. That's really unfortunate. We could have probably done a lot better, but Brom just forced under tower. Like, ow. He almost got pulled again. Please, don't get pulled. <clears throat> so, Jarvan's not going to be up for like 15 more seconds. Dragon's up. So, if we get the fifth dragon, I've never actually had five man dragon. So, now we're going to have five man dragon, which is going to be a T to splash over the wall. Five man dragon. Or, no, not, not five man, but the uh, fifth dragon. Oh my gosh. Burn and double. That increases our damage so much right now. Holy crap. Gives us 10% movement speed too. What I'm gonna buy next is a GA, so I want a little bit more armor. Armor, I think, is the best thing to get. <clears throat> hmm, this buff looks really weird. It makes us like all red and fiery. I've actually never seen it before because, I mean, normally you surrender as soon as people get it. So, <clears throat> we're just gonna head mid. Uh, the Yasuo. I mean, I just went for them and the Fizz caught off everybody. I didn't really get to do anything because I got condemned back. This is fine. We should be able to just win off this push just because of we just killed two of their carries. Wow, the SO is 2 and 15. That is, that is not a good score. So, I just decided to flash onto the... Oh god, I'm not going to get pulled. Please, no. 
So I decided to just flash on top of the vector to make sure that, I mean, what is the counter to? Like, he can't really do anything if I flash on top of him, so really easy go. Really easy game. Hope you guys enjoyed the, enjoyed the commentary. My talking today is not that good. I'm sorry for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I think that will bring me to, like, 70 LP. I'm almost to promos, and I'm in D3 right now, so I'll be D2 soon. Uh, and I will upload another video probably today. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.